my dear friends in Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Do you know why we must pray and meditate the Word of God? Yes, I know. Just like you need food for your body to grow, you need prayer and Word of God for your soul to grow. That's right. Good job. Matthew chapter 4 verses 4 says, Man shall not live on bread alone, but from the word that comes from the mouth of God. What is a good way to read the Bible? As a first step, you can have your own personal Bible. You can start off by reading these picture books. These have lots of nice illustrations that bring the story alive. After you start enjoying these awesome Bible stories, you can then move on to the real Bible. In the beginning, you can read 10 to 15 minutes each day. Maybe you can check off the day you read the Bible on a calendar. This will be a good way to track. Your, Your word is, is a lamp, lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. path. You are my Lord. I have no good apart from me. That's 62. Shepherd. I will not want Psalms 23 1. Hey young disciples, today I want to show you how I incorporate the Word of God in my everyday life. Now before we begin, I want you to take some different colors of sticky notes. If you don't have any sticky notes, feel free to use any index cards, a pen, a marker of any color, some tape, and of course your Bible. Now, before we write anything down, I want you to go through the Bible and pick out your favorite verse. Once you've picked out that verse, I want you to take the marker of any color, write down the book that you like, the chapter, and the verse number. After that, take out your pen and write down the verse that you like. Once you've done that, I want you to take the stick, I want you to take the tape, put it on the sticky note. Take it to your wall, put it on your wall, however you like. For me, I liked putting it as a cross. Did you know that you can memorize all the books of the Bible? And today I'm going to be saying the books of the Bible. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Number, Deuteronomy. Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1 Samuel, 2 Samuel. 1 Kings, 2 Kings, 1 Chronicles, 2 Chronicles, Ezra. Nehemiah, Tobit, Judith, Esther, 1 Maccabee, 2 Maccabee. Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ephesians, Songs of Song, Wisdom, Wisdom of Ben Sarah. Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Baruch, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos. Obedient, Jonah, Micah, Nahut, Habakkuk. Zephania, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Acts of the Apostles, Romans, 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Cosalians, 1 Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians, 1 Timothy, 2 Timothy. Titus, Philemon, Hebrews, James. 1 Peter, 2 Peter, 1 John, 2 John, 3 John, Jude, Revelation. There are 73 books in the Bible. Another example of how one of our youth ministers strives to keep the Word of God in her heart. When you take the small effort of writing Bible verses, Holy Spirit sees that and will surely honor that. In a similar manner, you can write Bible verses in your planner journal, or even note cards.
Hello, my name is Alan Benoit from Connecticut, and today I'll be telling you a story about how Moses saved the Israelites from the Egyptians using a miracle. Moses had saved the Israelites from the Egyptians. Now they were traveling to the promised land of Canaan, where they would be saved forever. But then they had come across the Red Sea. They had no idea to get past it. Some of them began to lose hope, and some of them thought that God has abandoned them. But then Moses performed one of the greatest miracles ever. He split the Red Sea in half and formed a straight path which the Israelites walked through. Meanwhile, Pharaoh grew envious and wanted revenge, so he called out all of his army, and the whole Egyptians began to go toward the Red Sea. The Egyptians then were passing through the path that Moses made. The Israelites were shocked. They thought that the Egyptians would finish them. But then Moses put together the Red Sea, which drowned all of the Egyptians. The Israelites rejoiced. This shows how great God's mercy is, and nothing is impossible with God. In Luke chapter 1 verses 37, it says, For nothing will be impossible with God. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, help us to understand the importance of prayer and word of God in our life. Psalm chapter 119 verse 11. I treasure your word in my heart so that I may not sin against you.